Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video here on Past Teacher Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Hi! We're actually playing Final Fantasy VII, the remake demo. It just dropped today uh, because of the original release date of being March 3rd of uh, 2020 and it being shifted one month from now to April. Actually, literally around about my celebratory international, like, uh, my kick day. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to actually describe my birthday in a weird way. My kick day is um, around the same time the Final Fantasy VII comes out. So I will be enjoying it immensely, along with my own festivities. But for now, I'm getting a taster of Final Fantasy VII Remake. This demo is available on PSN, on any country. It is about 8 gigabytes download, so if you have uh, limited internet connections, then be aware. But um, yeah, 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 I'm excited. There's Cloud, looking cloudy. Dreamy, like a cloud. Um, this is essentially the bombing mission that was shown to press a few months ago, a good few months ago now, and is not representative of the end quality of the game, but it's still enough to get me fucking excited, <laughs> so... I'm playing Final Fantasy VII. I'm playing fucking Final Fantasy VII. A remake of Final Fantasy VII. It, it exists, it is a game. I have the demo for it right here. Alright, uh, sorry. Oh, um, I pressed the wrong button and immediately went to the shopping section. That's correct. Um, I assume that was start, not purchase. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'll do the game. Normal, easy, classic. Ah, player controlled character will attack and defend automatically, allowing you to focus on executing commands. Found the pretty is the same as easy. So, classic mode is equal to easy mode? Um, and normal is our no, action orientated kind of like um, I'll probably go back and play classic after I play normal but we'll, we'll take it as not as, as God intended as Square Enix intended we're going to play this as actually like the normal mode oh there it is Aerith is looking gorgeous. Shit, it's actually the texture of the clothing. The buckles. It's like... After watching so many videos online, I was like, yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's like... It's like, it's the rendered trickery. It's the it's CGI intros. It's um, the YouTube video stream. Smoothing out some stuff. This looks really good. I'm sorry I'm talking over the top of this, but I'm, I guarantee that this is going to be a loud, talky playthrough that I'm mildly distracted by. Because um, if you if you were looking just to watch the cutscenes, I mean, how many places can you actually just sit and watch that? So, um, excuse me while I uh, get very excited. Little musical streams. We've seen this all in the trailers. So big! Ah <laughs> oh, man, it's actually just seeing those city streets. I'm like, oh, I know, I know. We are not getting to wander around like that. Not happening in this game. We've got Final Fantasy 13 stuff. That's exactly what I expected. That Midgard does look goddamn. Nice. This is like the light of the city. You're like, see that darkness out there? Ah. Oh. This is like in my head I can feel every single tune, every note of this goddamn game. I really wish there was dialogue there. <coughs> oh, who goes there? <coughs> I hear you. <coughs> 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 
Oh. This is kind of cool to actually see them interact with more because, um, bigs. <laughs> Try to remember the name. Are they the bigs in life? They are. <laughs> Get down here, murder! <laughs> oh, this is the moment that Max referred to. Where it's on this. Pans around. Oh, holy shit! Yes! <laughs> it just literally just pans around him and that's it. Yes! Okay. Here we go. You're up. <laughs> That was worth it for that moment! Holy shit! To literally just be on his face and pan around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you squared attack with Cloud Sword. Old squared unleash and attack you with enemies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're coming with us! Nice and easy! Don't think so. Very. <laughs> Level 7. Jesus Christ! Okay, Cloud. <laughs> Kill two guys in level seven. All right, but there has to be. Item sitting on the floor. I'm looking for potions on the floor. <laughs> Who in the hell? Hands where I can see him. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of that Have fun. blur. Oh. This looks good, but I'm willing to bet it looks so much better on a PS4 Pro. I'm, I really think it, like, this, this is actually making me go, I'm jealous of you bastards that actually went and upgraded. Uh, ATB gauge follows as time passes by attacking the square. Oh, yes, uh, use me to Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. Ooh, lifted him! Uh, so X, command me? Yeah. Hulk star, shit! Boom! Oh, you did. I told you he did. So Data out of battle. Uh, go to options and then. All right. So there is auto actions for getting over. Uh, so you know, you, there's no actual act of jumping in the um out, the out, outer world. It's just like I your icicle mineral water. Nice. Yeah, icicle in. I, I, I'm I'm doing the ad. I'm going to stop at everything I can look at. Really. Elegance. Hair tonic. Ideal scalp care. Her stones are radiant and spiky hair! Ha <laughs> ha! See the world through her eyes. Shinra X. Sensor technology. That's this. Very music gallery. That's the cover from the Five Monty Seven Orchestra album thing, is it not? Ah, uh, cool. Uh, delicious, fresh, and healthy. Banora White. <laughs> Banora? You got this. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> you lazy bastards. Uh, oh yeah, R1 did. You're coming with us. Can't yeah. get surrounded. Try harder. Nope. <laughs> I'm waiting. Shoot at me. Shoot at me. That it? it. I want you to shoot me. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like the fact we can roll in on that one. Cool. Okay. Is that it? So, uh, even though 
even though I just press circle to actually kind of like, um, dodge it, I can't do any, I can't do any kind of like, wandering, you kind of like, exploratory stuff. But yeah, I use circle to actually roll in, and then R1 to switch the ability menu to stop time, so I have time to actually select the ability command to out of the roll with. Okay, okay, I, li I like how, I like how that actually gives us a little bit of time and then it slows everything down when things get an action out. Keeps the ATV kind of sense of it working. I'm on board with this. Shinra, merging innovation with creation. What we do for you, we do for Midgar. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at absolutely everything. I just, I want to analyze this place as I go through for the first time. Because I'm assuming the bombing run gets a little bit kind of like forcey. I'm, I'm just going to play through this. I'll play through this. A little bit more pacey than what I'm doing. Because as is, I know I'm, I'm stopping on everything. I can, I can do this at my own leisure. No one ever has got you guys watching. Potions? Just as I expected. And boxes, smash them. <laughs> Alright. Oh, cool. Alright. Shooter boxes! Fuck you! So what soldier boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh. Cool, Clyde. Really enjoy what a dickhole. <laughs> For the main menu, you can view your inventory stats and more, so let's take a look at battle settings. Um, oh, there's quick controls! Yes! Yes, yes, that works. Uh, Braver focused. Um, we are so fucking putting a spell on that. Yes! So, uh, is there anything else? What else we want? I've got limit breaks. One spell. L O to heal L X to. I only have one magic spell. Fira. <laughs> or fire, just because no fear yet. Low level shit. Um, potions. Nobody in the party. Manual? Oh, manual four of these things. Uh, I was gonna, I was looking here and going like, can I change the color of the menu? Please let me tell me I can change the color of the menu. I like fighting change. Battle and battle static. Oh. Oh. That's good. Just a tiny bit for you guys, because I think the brightness is actually really good. Okay. Usually a little bit of darkening happens when you're wearing these. Play! We all joy to look at, too. Here we go. <laughs> Looks are what people chest. notice first. Guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not You'll even keep reading us the same safe, book. Right? Enough. We're done here. Or even the same. Give it a rest. <laughs> oh, ain't that sweet? Get over here. God, Barlow. Come on. Nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Oh, you're so underloaded. <laughs> Low res texture base. Wedge. Sorry, wedge. Uh, low texture wedge. That's one low texture wedge. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. Grab 
screenshot because <laughs> that is going to be my wallpaper. <laughs> Get him, boy! Yes, you first. Fuck you, dog. Whatever. Oh, there we go. Boom! Boom! Ah, shit. Hey! Looks like you're next. Is that it? No. Ow. Nothing to it. you. I'm actually legging the layout here. Elevator's over there! Catch up soon! I'm gonna break these boxes, dude. Heal and mana. Mana, 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 mana. This way. Huh? <laughs> Not so fast. We've got company. <laughs> well, he is the Merc, so essentially send him to kill everything. Fuck you, dog! Try to keep up. Ah, fucking do it. Look. is your heavy attacks operator obviously your quicker ones i think i'm gonna just stick with punisher because i don't think i'm gonna have to worry too much about timing my attacks so far um so we'll get the so. as far it is very very fast yes. 15. 15 uh side mission with final fantasy 7 skins it's more action oriented i'm expecting it to be Stiff, maybe? Get Those fuckers, they just left me behind. <laughs> Fuck you, big guy. Shit. I was trying to figure out a way to actually like do something more interesting, but I was like, all I could do is like talk to a and hit him, maybe. <laughs> That's about it. So I am like in the whoop rule in and then we start slashing people. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the many, bridge really. above Mako storage? Oh, well. Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, mutt. We can do this with you, or we, we can, can do, do this without, without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Hi, Lorez Jesse. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. Look around. Empty spaces. Shit down there, no. I'm 
watching you. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Hey! Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! Boys, my life. He did not want to do that. Yeah. He's alone. <laughs> we can. Oh, counter blue, sweet. Uh, guard against ranged attacks or magic. Can you evade such attacks? So that's me actually switching out of it whenever I roll, but I'm hitting triangle to put myself back into it, so that would be Okay. Ah! Make it! Make it rain! Never in doubt. We're back. Huh, welcome back. He always knows just what to say. <laughs> Rings the boxes. Ah! Fucking box. Ah! Invincible box. We must destroy the invincible box. Whoa. Boom. Alright, apparently it whips it back for it. Yes. All the boxes. Yes. Ah, you can't switch back out of uh, Punisher or Operator outside of battle. Interesting. Yes. Simmer down, hot shot. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? Them's the brakes. Careful in there. <laughs> I got this place covered. Good for you. Oh shit, so this is actually the bit whenever uh Big stays behind, then Jesse, and then he, he obviously joins you in the lift. So they're actually doing the doors. We're gonna have to fight their <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Google metal. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? <sighs> Tifa and I... <sighs> Tifa and I died once. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. <laughs> so I want to know if he gets angry, cheeky angry at the middle of this. Hi, Digger! Hi, Digger, hi, Digger was a boozy beggar. These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our English will not about the take much longer. I was about to say, oh, the drain. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Marco. It doesn't rest and it doesn't care. You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Marco is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? <laughs> Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Say that again! Dick hole cloud! Dick hole cloud! I'd worry less about the planet 
and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Turrets! Shoot the turrets! Bart, shoot them! Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move! That happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> That's right, Jesse. Narrate that action. And for me, would you? <laughs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. These ten cans ain't got nothing on me. Nah. Got it? Now for the real show. Boom. Okay. Bring it. Whatever. Ain't no thing. That's a very slow version of chicken. <laughs> like the reload, though. He reloads the guns. <laughs> you can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. Up and down to switch up and down or left and right. Do your job, Shut up and move over. See ya. It's on you. Don't forget to aim. Oh yeah? How about I aim for your head? No time to celebrate. Oh, my, we switch back to part two. Nice, nice. I like that. My music is nice and low and chill to this. It's actually Look what we have here. A laser security system. Lovely. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. <laughs> yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Just keep those baby blues of yours on me! Damn, girl! I'm going like that, that like the numbers nine five. I'm going to say like, are they actually like arcing for their career? Like, Not too shabby. Oh shit! Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's we'll see how damage that is. Potions on my MP. Interesting. I'm 
glad that's over with. And we're almost at our objective. Look. They don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. <laughs> I thought she was running around the side so I could actually get a chance to hit them from a different angle. But no, no, no. Ha! We can take this hunk of junk! That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Gotta be careful. Come on. Call it. These enemies with certain attacks are dealing large amounts of damage, will temporarily knock them off balance, and pressured will appear underneath their gauge. Open spells and ability to quickly kill this tiger. Ooh. Okay, so when they're pressured. Each foe is faster than the bodies the magic use as well as the vulnerabilities. Find the effective attack for it. Hey! It's not moving! Let's pin it down. Give it all you got. I got it. Of course. It just had to get back up. Can we knock it down again. No time to complain. Whatever. Coming at you hard and fast! Target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. Maybe we should probably use the table of some sort. Oh, damn. I can practically taste the Marco in here. Hurry it up! Sorry, my, my, I just 
immediately got a frog in my throat. Wait, I could have just gone over there and went down that way, you... Floaty head combos. Ow! Yes, deal with that. Alright! Watch it! Ain't hey, no thing! <clears throat> you think if we fell in, we sink right down to the bottom? To the planet's core? No. The pump would suck us back up. <laughs> How comforting. seven-year-old device. The PC version will look amazing! This looks good! It's not as good. Alright, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Little Stamp? Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. Shit. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! <laughs> Fine. Jesus. Do everything whenever I paid to do it. <laughs> Ow. What's wrong? My father, I mean my feather. I'm fine. What about the timer? You'll call, Merc. <laughs> oh, are you really gonna make me do this? Huh? 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 Fuck you. 20 minutes. Pretty cocky, ain't you? Fucking right I am. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I play the demo again. <gasps> Alright. Alright, let's crossing. go. Like we've been waiting for. Heads up. What the hell? Fuck you, laser boy! How the hell do we fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plated, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Huh. No other option, huh? Keep it together. Guess it's my turn. <laughs> Shit! Uh, should I be worried? Whatever you want, just do it. It's on you.
You see the damage that did? Keep it up. Don't overdo it. Watch it learn.
this. Right. Let's finish this. Going all out. No holding back. Either on the left or on the right hand side of the screen. I'm not really paying attention to combat in the center. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's, it feels, for it meant to be you like, feeling actually in full speed, it feels really goddamn like clunky and awkward. Heads up! Tail laser! I see it! Then take cover already! Oh, I got this. Strike now, before it fires again. Deal with that. Yeah. Whatever. Need to heal up. Oh, Jesus Christ. The moment I... Damn it. Need to heal up soon. <laughs> Need a breather. Right. You think I care about a few cuts and bruises? Cause I don't. Oh hell! What you doing now? Not a repair. Damn it. We gotta take it out quicker, we're screwed. <laughs> oh, I am way ahead of you, Murph. That's not the thing. When I get my chance, I'm gonna blow this bastard the hell up! And that's the problem! Mind over man! I got them. 
on you. Heal up in this room. Take it from here. Why now? I ain't going down. Find the goddamn score. Kiss my. Take the lead. We keep going. If I heal up. That don't stop now. Ain't no limit we can't break. But I didn't feel. I mean, combat's a little bit weird. I'm sure it's one of those things that will get easier. Louis with time. And learning enemies like attack patterns, but it definitely felt like I was getting interrupted a lot. It felt like the eight the ball. Give you the flexible the the where you are still doing turn based actions. So me inputting any control whatsoever in between is kind of unnecessary, other than to choose when to block, choose when to hold down square. You hear that? Damn thing um, showed you how it's done! It doesn't feel Come like on, I can overpower my enemies. I can only attack them in the manner that it was expected. Wait, we'll be covering our way out! Go, go, go! Alright, I won't, don't want to look up your ass, but I'm going to have to. Why would I even bother? Like, are you serious? It's making me fight these guys? What the fuck? Got it? Hmm. 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 If he doesn't attack me, then I should actually be able to move on without actually having to hold those attack. Ooh, nice done, dude. Did it crawl over, do we? Left or right? Which side is she on? You fucks! Okay, so I have to go left? Okay, no problem. Going left. Which part am I going left to? Alright. Maybe give people an idea of what the eye line is for that. Help a girl out, would you? My hero! Hey! We'll link up over there! Look after Jesse! Come this way! This route should lead us straight to Barrett. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I think I see an. I know what's inside this box. Surprise, emotions. Like I, I don't think I've got much to do after because I might think this is just the bombing run, so. We're running out of time! Shut up and climb. You're not helping. Sorry, it just it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have it your way. Art's one-handed climbing is pretty fucking impressive to be honest. I've got you covered! Find us a way out of here! But then... Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got a soldier boy with me. I'm Jesse Run. X, soldier boy. 
They're here! Take them down! We don't have time for this shit! The clock's ticking! Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. Bring it on!
God damn it. God, the thing hiring you was a mistake! Take that as a yes. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, come on. Actually, like the repercussions for their actions, kind of thing. And they rule either the door. Oh man! Oh right, not the end of the demo. Right. Okay. Series of cutscenes. You get to do the cuts. No dialogue scene. Now we're just seeing the Kobe on play. Shielded soldiers. Uh, shield, shield, shielded Shinra agents. Mm. Right. Short but sweet. Very much the Final Fantasy VII demo that we were expecting. It demonstrates mechanics. I was only starting to get really into the comfort of it. Finished? Ah, they had to. Had to at least one. Should I bring you despair? Ha! <laughs> Select a version to purchase. Nope. <laughs> Uh, it's because I already have made my purchase. I actually bought it from the Hong Kong store, so I will be playing it six hours before release. <laughs> um, yeah, so I actually I bought, I bought it from my uh, Hong Kong address. So we will be checking that out. I'm there, Dave. Thoughts? 
thoughts and feelings. His <laughs> hopes and prayers. Let's see. Um, yeah. That was Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh. Am I excited? Yes and no. I've got a wild feeling. Combat wise, the way this works, the way this plays, feels very dot hacky. And that's not a bad thing. I think the like the the inkling and early stages of CyberConnect 2 being involved in the development of Final Fantasy 7 Remake are still very, very present. I don't know, am I speaking out of court here? Am I speaking out of turn? I've got this wild feeling that I'm honestly, like, am I the only person who remembers that they were involved in development? I'm willing to bet people in the comments underneath us are going to fucking tear me apart for actually making a statement like CyberConnect 2 were in the, in the, in the early days part of the development of Final Fantasy VII Remake. <coughs> there is some little twitch in the back of my head, some little nugget that I'm sure I read that. So I can double check it afterwards. I'll probably, well, if, if, if it's actually true, then there's a lot to answer in this because I think the combat, the ability system plays off very much like the, um, the uh, attack arts from the Dot Hack series. The, um, the running a combo to the end of the combo then uh, interrupting it with a art to kind of chain them together while throwing in a dodge. It feels like that. I, I, once I got it, I was like, oh, wait, that's how you play this. As, up until uh, up until about three quarters of the way through that battle with the... Um, uh, the, the Scorpion boss, the Scorpion Sentinel, the... I wasn't really making progress. I was getting frustrated. I was honestly, I was getting quite frustrated. You can, you can tell by just rewinding back. I can't even remember what I said, but I fucking swearing quite a lot. But um, yeah, the the combat feels very much like that uh, stagger system that was actually like play and uh, attack element versus against the element. And I noticed that whenever I was finally finishing off there, I was able to take down the second uh, sweeper with a couple of stagger attacks, a lightning attack. So with Play into weakness, build up stagger, build up stagger, punish, and then try and punish to kill before it actually gets back up again. And it obviously it was easier because I was like a two levels up from the time I fought it the first time. But yeah, the the actual gameplay feels very, very much like it's essentially uh, the combat style from Dot Hack. It, it, it's, it feels like that to me. Speaking about the game's visuals, it doesn't look great on the PS4. It looks good. It, it, I'm delighted by the way it looks it's that opening shot where you see cloud zooms into his face and then it pans around behind him and i kind of lost my shit for a few seconds because that is the one i was excited to see i knew other people had talked about it i knew that was actually like this is what makes it real it's not a tgi movie it's a cgi movie that turns into a game within seconds that really really sold me but every cutscene after that everything after that second after that moment there's a blurry underloaded character and like the the depth of field is like really visibly off as in like uh, the backgrounds are fine but character model is not fine so i'm a little bit concerned about that on the original ps4 i'm willing to bet none of that is a problem on the ps4 plus or ps4 pro it's it, it, it just I, I i can just tell now that that is not a problem on the on the pro that is a problem to this model and if i'm going to be playing this game i don't want to play it on the bad version but, I mean, I'm not going to buy a PS4 Pro now. Especially now, whenever we're, like, only weeks away from some PS5 announcement. And guarantee, guarantee this bullshit is this game is going to be on the PS5. It's going to be a early title for the PS5. In fact, they will probably release it as a bundle where you get a digital version of this full game while you're waiting for whatever sequel they have going down the line for PS5. That's probably what's going to be the case. But... I'm, I'm happy this game exists. I'm glad that we've actually got there. We finally, finally, finally got there. I've played Final Fantasy VII Remake. In fact, just playing the bomb mission might be as much as I really need to play or want to play of this game. It's very abrupt how it cuts off. I, I, would, have, I would have liked if it actually gave us a little bit more story. And the, the montage it has at the end of this demo is very 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 limited it's very very early material like it's it's uh, one shot of uh, of Sephiroth 
It's a couple of scenes with Aerith uh, meeting her on the street and the soldiers before you jump onto the goddamn train. Like, that's that's literally all they show. Like, literally moments after this. And this was from months ago. So, obviously, there's probably a lot more content. Um, they, There's those scenes with, uh, you've seen of Aerith with the shadows falling around behind her. And some of the story elements that actually seem to be completely not related to the original Final Fantasy VII plot. Uh, Aerith, Eco Warrior, seeing the dead ghost, and Cloud also then being able to see him whenever he touches her. They, these things are interesting plot points that I would like to see developed further. I would like to know what is different in Final Fantasy VII rather than what they have managed to remake exactly as it was. And this is what we're actually dealing with. As much of a, I want a remake, I, well, sorry, as much as I want a remaster in this style, I really want it to be a remake. I want there to be more stuff to see, more stuff to do. And knowing the Midgar section of Final Fantasy VII, which is good, it's a good seven hours of gameplay, but there has to be something deeper in this because I don't think I don't know I don't I don't think that's this is going to be a fun game in total if we don't uh, don't have a lot more to do and I don't mean Yakuza style mini games I, I mean the plot has to be wider than let's get out of Midgar essentially like, the introduction of Red 13 the introduction of Genova um, the death of the president of Shinra, the escape from Midgar. That is a that's a that is actually a good arc, but it doesn't feel like a lot of the arc. Whenever we know what the scope of the original game was and how long we would have to wait after getting that far and leaving the city. So, total total thoughts, ending thoughts. Final Fantasy VII, happy it's here. Combat feels very very dot hacky. Uh, very, very cons uh, Cyber Connect 2 uh, combat style. Something that I've actually I've experienced a fair amount over the years. And uh, if we would, if we were going to make a comparison, I may go back and actually go and show how it compares. That's something to do. That's something to actually do with the footage that we have here. And maybe take a look at that. And I'll investigate further whether or not I'm talking out of my ass. And if I am talking out of my ass, tell me in the comments. Feel free to do so. So, yeah. Final Fantasy 7 demo was a delight to play. I don't think I'm going to go and do it again. I'm, I, might, I might do it again. I might go and poke and prod, take a look at some other stuff that's going on in there. But otherwise, there, was, there wasn't much to dig into. It is a very gameplay-focused, here's a demonstration, here's how the mechanics work. With literally three spells, uh, two moves, and one boss. One sub-boss, really, more than anything else. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been me playing through Final Fantasy VII. Um, I just realized my old screen popped up there in the middle of my tail end of my thoughts. We'll finish this off. We'll post up to this, even though I had mistakes in there, because it's my initial reactions. And I may come back to this and talk a bit more about Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo when I have organized it a little bit better and came down from the high of playing through the demo. As the usual is, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in a live stream sometime soon. Um, I've been playing PSO2 a absolute butt ton. We've got rumors of the NA open beta coming very, very soon in the next couple of weeks. Uh, timing wise, it'll be terrible if it comes out the same time as Final Fantasy 7 because I will literally have no life left. And so, in fact, I'll probably just, I'll still play PSO2 to play my dailies, but um, I will still, I'll chip away at Final Fantasy 7's plot as I go along. So, even though I said, like, I hope it's a longer game or there's more to it. I think I only have about 7 to 10 hours free to play this thing over a couple of weeks. So we'll see how it goes. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.